and now the word of God resounds again. His word was only closed until the time of the end, Daniel 12, 9. And unless his message of Malachi 3, 1 comes forth to prepare his own way, Malachi for, predicts that nothing but destruction would be ahead. So come aboard and ask yourself a few questions. Uh, who can stand in the face of one coming, uh, preparing meat for the master's household while the master is still away, as Christ foretold in Matthew 24. Who can stand in the face of all things being restored contrary to public uh, popular opinion? Who can stand one man, Elijah, against the whole entire world to lift up the Lord God of equality and unity in the face of all having false gods of inequality a God of respecter of people, a God, a false God of uh, favoritism, him liking each of, they think, in their own religion, they like us best. It's always been quack, people. So come along and ask yourselves a few new questions because it's time to move ahead, not by power nor by might, but by the Spirit of the Lord. And in these days of this world being revealed as a small world after all, a world of fears and festering tears that can all be put away by perfect love to cast out fear, who can stand against that message being preached and not desire the, the Lord God of all mankind to embrace us all, to set us all free? Who can stand in the light of uh, hatred towards that mission? Who can stand? So get ready to blast off. So love from love, hope from hope, and peace from peace. Those are names of our Lord God Almighty. And mercy from mercy, and faith from faith, and love. Let his compassion come forth as a mighty ocean of his adoration is poured out upon all flesh. So get ready to ask yourselves a few questions. So the bar is open and all drinking from Christ's living water shall never thirst again. I've been reading Mickey and Minnie, a bedtime story. And it's one of love and kingdom age peace that starts with understanding that God's love has always secretly been unconditional over us. As long as we don't commit unforgivable sin or blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, letting our love die right out because that he is love. Those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. Yay, Mickey and Minnie are happy about that. And so it is he living in us if we have love as the children who is in emotion. So hear the word of the Lord resound again. His word had to reopen. Daniel 12, 9 foretold that it would. It was only closed until the time of the end. It is the message, his message, that prepares his way. If people will not receive that, this earth will be destroyed according to the word of God in Malachi 4, 6. Utter destruction awaits us. So don't do that. So it's time to get with the program of understanding revelation. Revelation that is conditional. Revelation of the great tribulation that shall not end up the way that we have been taught if we will let Christ's living love flow through us. It'll be his love through us that will save this earth and money from all over this earth. A latch unto the highest heavens uh, shall come and help restore this earth. It shall be as Eden ahead of us. So Mickey and many want you to know it can be a small world after all of love, joy, peace. Um, it's time for the glory of God to cover this earth as waters cover the seas, as uh, his living waters cover the ocean of his adoration that he is now sending forth. Uh, mighty rapids, fast-moving rivers of his charity and benevolence, his beneficence in motion. 
for he is uh, arising in the splendor of his own magnificence, the beneficence of his love for you and for me. And it, he says unto the world, and the kingdom age covenant has never been given until now. He says, I will be your God. You will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity and I will never remember it. Yay! <laughs> Good thing, because I did some pretty not so nice things in my life and most people have. All like sheep go astray, but praise the Lord in this hour. People can understand that if we're walking two steps forward and one step back, we're going in the right direction. And so the Lord is going to now make a way where there has seemed to be no way. And know that Adonai's victorious voice of love is now booming louder than ever before. He is the roaring lion of Zion who is roaring each of our names as if we were the only one. For he is a God of the equality of all people who have their love light on like when they were a little child. And know that in these days of Elijah, the days of the uh, foretold Shiloh of Genesis 49, 12, one whose eyes are dull and red of wine has come, the alcoholic of Habakkuk 2. Even though I've been transgressed by wine, I have heard God's voice. I have heard it's time for us all to ascend to the great white cloud where his word is coming forth anew, saying, I love you with an eternal love. And he says, I shall return my terrifying anger and stop the fast rising great tribulation if mine people shall give me the desire of my heart that I prayed for in Gethsemane. And it says in the word of God, and this shall be considered in the latter days. It says so. It says that. Will you consider the truth, the truth that our God has never been a God of favoritism and a God who is a respecter of men? The word of God says that all sin, all sin, all sin shall be forgiven us. The Lord says, even sin against him, even sin against Jesus, he said, even sin against me shall be forgiven, but not blaspheme of the Holy Spirit. But it was, he never, he let it be ambiguous because it was part of the mystery of God. But now it's, there's no more ambiguity um, because now that the covenant has been given to Israel and all mankind, it opens us up to the fact, iron clad, that his love has always been transcendent. And so know in this hour that his word is thundering all over earth's circle anew, while drowning out the terrible screams of agony that are still coming from under Satan's uh, uh, vacated bloody throne, for he has been banished according to Daniel 12. One for 1,000 years as it is written because he can no longer be the accuser of the brethren or he would make God a liar because God says, I will be your God. You will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity. I will never remember it. People, Satan's job has been to be the accuser of the brethren day and night before the Lord telling him all about our sin. How could God not remember our sin if Satan keeps whispering all our junk in his ears? He had to be removed in the days of the latter-day Daniel, Daniel 12, 13, who would arise to embrace his destiny, Daniel 12, 13, as the end-time revelator, causing the shattering of the power of the holy people, Daniel 12, 7, because God's word has opened anew, Daniel 12, 9, said it only was closed until the time of the end for These are the days of Elijah, the days of Shiloh, who has the scepter of all authority. These are the days of the glory of God coming forth and the vision of God. The vision was written for the appointed time at the end and it has come, it has not lied. You can behold my soul that's not a break, but the just shall live by my faith. It's kingdom age faith. Christ was slain before the foundation of earth for one and all of his people. So come out of the land of the walking dead. So accursed therefore is Satan's defeated war machine since that weapon will stop prospering as all things of darkness discover that doom is on its way. For Lucifer's beastly number of 666 has finally been reserved for every faithless soul of love who lets their love light die out. 
these are the days of the uh, revelation of who we are. We're angels in the flesh. Jesus said we were God. These are the days of the revelation of who is the Antichrist, the lawless one, the one who would die by a sword in Revelation 13. It's a sword swallower named Morgan Fischel that makes videos like Jesus is Satan. If that's not blasphemy, I don't know what is. The days of Elijah, where the false prophet has been caught on camera calling down fire from heaven in front of multitudes, Revelation 13, uh, repent and prepare, prepare the way, Dr. David Awar. Uh, and now he claims he is the two witnesses. Uh, I am not the Elijah of uh, Revelation 11. I'm the Elijah of Zechariah 3, 4, and 5. Uh, God picks an alcoholic, Zechariah 3. Then he lights a candle miraculously. I wrote by lamp and was never plugged in for sediment. And then he sends forth the, the flying scroll. The flying scroll of the writer needed a, a, a writer for a scroll. The everlasting gospel foretold for the latter days. The Lord needed a writer to have that written. The, the vision of God was for the strong and mighty one of Isaiah 28, line by line, precept by precept. And it is written in Habakkuk 2 that all has been plainly written on the tablets, so all those who readeth it may run a writer. God has never done anything unless he has sent forth a writer. Moses said in Deuteronomy 18:18, 18, 18, one like him would come forth, a covenant giver of God, because the king made the covenant, was never given the man. God only gave the words of it and said it would come in the latter days in Jeremiah 31. 1. It says so. And the bottom line is that in these days of the covenant being given, one like Moses had, has come. I am the writer that was foretold to come line by line. So praise the Lord that uh, for all heeding my voice, it's time to take the curse of Malachi very seriously, for only death awaits for those not listening to me, as Moses said. And Jesus said that unless his word came forth to cut time short, only God could cut uh, time short by his word, people. That unless that happened, that no flesh could be saved, it would be the total uh, oblivion that he foretold. He said no flesh could be saved unless his word did reopen. It's kingdom age times. This is the mountain of Isaiah 25, Isaiah 2, and Micah 4. And upon this mountain shall uh, the sword be beaten into the sickle of love. Because as it has been, uh, it's all been distortional. Uh, and it was kept that way on purpose. But praise the God that uh, these are the days of Elijah that if people will not make an intelligent decision about all the things I'm saying, that it'll be the most insane decision that ever could be met, met, made. And the Spirit of the Lord says, when the senses are shaken and the souls of all people on earth have been driven to madness, who can stand in the face of new revelation sent to save this earth with the sun of love arising with healing in his wings. And when everyone is convinced of the dove's legitimate prophecy of the Lord's Bible codes, which has now connected the dots of all end time prophecy, which proclaims the man is about to die as a race, who can stand? And of the fools who don't act with those of faith's knowingness, who could stand as they roll over like disobedient dogs playing dead? Who can stand? And when these days burn as an oven uh, over man's sizzling uh, emotions, as it is written in Malachi 4, uh, because the whole race is about to die, who could stand? And when the souls of the oppressed fight in the troubled air that rages, who can stand? Or when the whirlwind of fury comes forth from the great white throne of God, and when the frowns of his countenance drives the nations together, who can stand without enlightenment? That is why he says, if you give me the desire of my heart, I can stop the fast rising great tribulation. This was to be considered in the latter days. The Bible says so. It says that. And who will be brave enough to leave any places of God's worship or refusing to lift up his unconditional love unconditionally. Who can stand in the face of that? Muhammad said the day would come, just like Paul said in Hebrews 8, when all faith would be obsolete. 
when the words come forth given by the messenger of Malachi 3 1 that prepares the Lord's way by his own message, his own word. Uh, and Paul said that all faith on earth that has been would, would be no more. Uh, Muhammad said the same thing. He was in on this secret too. Uh, Muhammad said that the day was coming in the hadith that there would be no more left of the Quran when a book comes proving God's mercy to get rid of the distortional. Uh, no more seeing only in part and uh, looking through a glass darkly. These are days of Daniel 12 where one can shine as the stars with wisdom, finally realizing that God's word has always been for all mankind and that we are created equal in his image, made wonderfully. Uh, the glory of his latter house is greater than that of the former. And the first are last, the last are first. That is why we have been made of higher than the angels. And in the afterlife, the word of God declares that we shall be sexless as the angels. I wonder why. Because Jesus said, we are gods. That is what he was saying. We are angels in the flesh. So who can stand during times of great deceit in this world? And when naive souls are damned by their own lack of love and the unforgivable sin of their perishing, that is a progressive sin as we just die to all things that are good. People, in these days, we have to understand that all of our righteousness is as filthy rags uh, compared to God's unconditional love that has always been transcendent. And who can stand under that understanding? Because the truth is that... Uh, he loves us with an uh, unending love, and uh, we do not have to go into the fires of perishing. But he doesn't want no more stupid sheep. He's arising as a good shepherd over all the flocks of man. He wants people to let down their pride, let down their mane, be part of the pride, a family of the roaring lion of Zion, who's roaring louder than he ever has before. So who can stand in the face of the kingdom age veil being removed? And when the fiends of hell rejoice upon the slain, who can stand? And who has caused this? And who can answer at my throne? Asked Christ. I will therefore send the messenger of my kingdom age covenant of Jeremiah 31 1. That shall tear down all kingdoms of man and all imaginations says the Lord, for he is the carpenter of the ages, and the ta his tongue is the rod of his mouth. It is the hammer of God, and he destroys before he, uh, before he builds, because we have gotten things so off, because definitions have always been wrong. Those who love are born of God and know God, because God is love. And if he is love, that means for God so loved the world, uh, that he gave his only begotten love. So whosoever would love should not perish, but have everlasting love and everlasting life. So the Lord sends his kingdom age covenant messenger. He was never the messenger of his covenant. He never gave his covenant. The covenant was never given. It was foretold to be given in the latter days. It says so. And if God was not the... Uh, God of all Israel and all families of Israel, everybody of Israel, he would be a liar in these days. So praise the Lord that his message shall declare uh, and prepare the way before him in this year of 2021 and far beyond in these days of COVID from Revelation 3 that has come bringing God's word of patience, the trial of all flesh, to keep us from the hour of the temptation, not to change. So who can stand in the face of all this truth overflowing? And the Lord says that when his last Elijah comes standing, the latter-day Daniel, Elijah, the one foretold as eyes dull and red of wine, the one who holds the scepter of all of God's authority, who can stand in the face of this? And who can stand in the face of, of uh, the words of the Apostle Paul coming forth with all of heaven's authority, declaring that now that the Kingdom Age covenant has been given, that all faith on planet Earth is now obsolete, just as Muhammad said that his people would belong to another that sounds like Islam. That is the name that God has given Israel. Their name is now Chrislam. That is their kingdom age covenant given to them because now they have inherited 
all mankind, Isaiah 54, 3. And because of the distortional aspects of our faith, we have had nothing but desolate heritages, Isaiah 49, 8. And Jesus was never one who had eyes red and dull of wine. Everyone insisting that Shiloh is Jesus is jumping up and down, insisting he was an alcoholic who didn't just make a little wine out of some water. <laughs> Don't do it. No, uh, Shiloh, Elijah, Latter-day Daniel, Joshua, Zechariah 3, the alcoholic, chosen for the flying scroll of Zechariah 5. It's all the same guy. It's one from the north, Isaiah 41. And it is foretold that the messenger unto Israel of Malachi 3, 1, would be the messenger unto Israel, that they have inherited all mankind, and that God has now given them their covenant in the latter days as the word of God said it would. If you don't believe me, who can stand? Uh, because I stand with all of God's authority. And who will believe my truth that the spirit of Moses rests upon all people of love and great things shall be accomplished and earth's salvation shall be evermore be lifted up. Uh, no more weeping in the night for the, the morning of the Son of Love has come and he has healing under his wing. So who can stand? It's now the wondrous time, the Lord says, of my fulfillment of Jeremiah 31. 1. For the days of his Son of Righteousness, the Lord Jesus Christ Almighty, the risen Word of God, who is love, uh, he now arises so that the gross darkness can all flee away at his slightest whispering of roar. So moreover, the day of celebration is at hand. For the Lord says, I am Jehovah Nisi, the banner of love over all people. He's always loved us equally, far none whatsoever. And the Lord says, because my love has absolutely no conditions upon those walking in the spirit of love, aside from them loving their enemies, uh, while loving their neighbors as themselves, with their love flowing as it was when they were a little child. For it is written that all shall know me, all of mankind, and all of us as children, when our love was uh, flowing, we knew him at one point. And if we let our love die, we gotta get out of the land of the walking dead so that we will not perish by spiritual suicide of letting our love wax cold. And praise God that all of this is the fulfillment of the law of Moses is found within overflowing love that has been now made plainly understood so that no more shall distortions uh, cloud our good judgment and that we can shine as the stars uh, because the Lamb of God is risen and he is the Lord God of all mankind whether people believe it or not. But it is time that we quit the uh, pointing fingers at people for no one walking with the Spirit shall be condemned. And the Lord says, Behold, my chosen Israel now has a new covenant and a new ark for survival within this word of Scripture, which has finally come forth exactly as Habakkuk foretold. Uh, and praise God that this covenant has been far different from the last one, for he is now revealing himself as the Messiah of forgiveness, Christ Isa Yeshua Jesus, who shall put his law within our midst so that we may rejoice evermore. So praise the Lord and it's time to embrace the mind of Christ that he truly does love each of us as if we were the only one. I love you. Bye.